Hi Floss Tube, it's Lisa Smith, Kindred Stitcher. Today is May 17th, 2020, and this is video number 50. Um, today is such a gorgeous day outside. I have behind you, the doors open to my craft room. So I just thought I'd open the door, give you a different view of my craft room. It's sort of long and narrow because it's at the back of my garage, um, but it's my joyful spot to be. And I, so I thought I'd just share a different angle. The, if you hear birds in the background or animals or my cats walk in, it's part of having the door open, right? So I hope that where you live, it, you're enjoying the spring weather and um, that it's gorgeous where you are too. I feel like it's been weeks and weeks and weeks since I had a video and probably because mania has just been this pace, you know, kind of this relentless pace, which... I'm having so much fun with. Um, I just want to stop and stitch everything that I've started. And I've finished a couple things already too, but, but that's sort of the benefit of working on primarily smalls. I did also start another big project. It's probably not a surprise to you guys, but I'll show you that. And I have a fair amount of haul as well. I What I didn't do is I didn't get to watch all the people I'd invited to share their channel with me. And this is a couple of videos in a row now where I just haven't done that. And it's primarily because you guys are making content, like so many videos every day that I can't even become close to, can't even come close to keep, keeping up with y'all. So, so other than that, I just, I work from home. That's where I sit when I work during the day. And uh, my husband and I are still hanging out at the house here mostly. He's been grouting our um, tile, our shower remodel that we did in our master bathroom. It's the ongoing project. It's been torn up for months now but quite frankly he wanted to work do it and start it and so I was like go for it but I don't tend to jump in the middle if I'm not part of the planning process I will help if I need to but I don't I have done a lot of tile before in our prior houses and my husband's probably perfectly capable of doing it too and he did a great job other than that oh my yard oh I did not do much yard work last year and my yard shows it so I'm really having to go in and whack plants and clean things up. Our lilacs are at the very end. They're so beautiful this year, but the rain really took a toll on them. Pretty soon the peonies will be blooming. Um, what else? Roses will start blooming and the deer probably will come and, and uh, have their way with those. The mock orange, which is behind you in the hedge right outside my my craft room is I have a hedge that every other plant is mock orange. And when it blooms, there is nothing that smells better on the entire planet. It is, it is so amazing. So maybe I'll insert a video clip in, a, in one of my next videos when that starts blooming and you won't have smell a vision, but I'll tell you how awesome it smells. I don't know my hair. I think my hairdresser is the most undervalued person in my life. I go get my hair cut on uh, June 4th and I'm just really hoping that they're open. So let's see. Well, let me just show you a couple of previous finishes. So I don't know that I actually showed you how this turned out last time. I think it was, I don't remember if it was all the way done or not. This is from Heartstring Samplery and it's a, it's a club kit. Um, I think it might be up for purchase now on her site. Um, this is says all the pretty flowers live forever together live forever in my heart and I love gardening I love flowers this just really speaks to me and I just thought this was beautiful so that's a finish and I also want to show you a couple of other things this is a previous finish and this goes with my patriotic mania because I just want to stitch everything patriotic but this is a shepherd's bush and it fit perfectly in this Hobby Lobby frame that was five bucks and very professional finish from kind of Stitcher designs, right? Um, you know, a shepherd's bush, bush charts are so sweet. There's a, just a sweetness about them. It does have back stitch in it and there's some specialty stitches, but they're not enormous pieces. And um, I love the color selection that they have. I don't have a lot of them. I have a big, sampler from I made when my boys were born and I hung in their room but um I have one on order and I hope I get it pretty soon but I just wanted to share that because it's I have a few patriotic pieces but I'll just show that one this time and then 
I also wanted to share something that I picked up online. This is W Foliage 1835. So this, this is simply an alphabet sampler, but y'all know I love a cursive alphabet. And we look, you know, there's a sort of a trend to stitch red samplers, which I love a red sampler, but I also love a black sampler. I love the elegance of it. I love it stitched not on white, but on cream or some sort of darker fabric. It's very rich. This is something you could put out if you were to stitch something like this. Um, you know, there's plenty of designs that you could convert to a black from a red or another color, but this would be great at Halloween. It would be great actually any time of the year. And every room needs some black in it to ground it from a decorative standpoint. So I picked this one up and I just love it. So she has the edges are, it looks like there's a binding. It's a very gauzy fabric that is stitched, actually sewn on. It's not a stitched edge. So it's a very, it's almost like an organza. It's just a very light fabric that frames that. So I just thought I'd share that with you. I am loving the antique samplers, let me tell you. The before I get into my media starts and the haul, I'm going to share with you who has won from the prior video, the video before last, not my media video, but my the one before that. All of the all of the fabrics for the Blackbird Designs um, berry Christmas berries. It's called from the book Deck the Halls. And it comes with seam binding, lace, and all of the fabrics. And I will insert that clip of the random person who was chosen right here. Hey everyone, I used the random comment generator for the Blackbird Designs um, fabric and finishing fabric, finishing lace and seam binding. The winner is Lori Walt. Beautiful berries, my favorite Blackbird Designs pattern is in my garden in the new book sewing club. I stitched it and the colors are my new favorite palette. Congratulations, Lori. I will comment on your comment and I will also put my email in the drop down box below. Please get, reach out to me so we can arrange to get that sent to you. Congratulations. So congrats, congratulations, Lori. I hope you really enjoy this and thank you for everyone who commented. Um, there was a lot of gnashing of teeth and angst over picking your favorite blackbird. It was like picking your favorite child. And I understand. I may have asked you that on purpose to see what would happen, but you guys did not fail to um, live up to that. And so thank you for all of your comments. I think the biggest ones that I saw in there was uh, Christmas Garden, uh, A Joyous Day, Merrily Merrily. I think those were the biggest ones. The newer ones, which I thought was sort of a surprise, but really the, the bigger samplers and newer samplers were probably the most prevalent answers. So. Um, a big thank you for some stitchy kindness from a couple girlfriends as I was on a Zoom meeting. And I said, I can't find uniform blue everywhere. I've tried. I ordered it five different places and everybody was out. So some of my stitching friends sent me uniform blue. I've got three of them. And thank you so much, darling. Thank you so much, Shelly. I truly appreciate your generosity. Um, it sounds like General Arts is going to start shipping pretty soon, which is great. I'm glad to hear that they're back back in business. So the other one is my girl, Lori mischievous stitches sent me one of her, one of her um, postcards and I'll love you, Lori. You're just great. So thank you. This made my day. Oh, let's see. So there's that. I guess we'll save haul to the end. We'll do that. I'll save that over there. So, so stitch mania. Love it. I'm so glad that I chose smalls. I'm so glad because um, I could come back and work on things, even though I was stitching something new each day. And I think that in June, I will probably finish several of these. So the first one is a shepherd's bush. Every heart beats true. It's a kit that I bought. And I think I showed this. Well, I showed all these on Instagram, but this is the finish. Um, and I don't recall what fabric this came with, but it looks like 
it's probably 36. Um, isn't that sweet? And so I plan to go ahead and, well, find backing fabric. I don't, it might, it might be in the kit. I can't remember if it had the fabric or not. And it had, I think the trim on it. So the trim came in the kit and there's some beads on the trim. So I'm sort of going to do the ruched side to that. But that was my first, that was day one. And it was my first finish. I'm not going to have these in order of the days that I did it. I just don't have enough organization in my day today. Plus I got stuff to do. The next one I'm going to show you is Heartstring Samplery Stars and Stripes Forever. This was a kit through Dying to Stitch. And I believe you can buy this. This is available for the public. Comes with thread card. This is the backing fabric. Isn't that cute? And this is how far I am. So I don't think I'm going to have enough of the, of the, the kit um, fold thread. And, but I've got gold thread. I mean, come on. I've got all kinds of gold thread. So no problem there. So that was my next one. And really, I want to say I have to finish a little bit at the top here. Um, maybe one or two of these. And then the bottom. And it's done. So it's going to be really quick. And she braids this, but I'm thinking about integrating some sort of bead or maybe doing more of the Blackbird Designs bead um, hanger. So we'll see. We'll see when I get there. I'm going to have to I have a week off in June, so I hope to work on finishing some of these, FFOing them. Hopefully my stuff at the side doesn't fall down. Oh, my husband's taking off in the car. He's going to the grocery store. He's a good guy. He does all the grocery shopping and he cooks dinner the things I hate to do. So that's all right. I clean. I'll clean the kitchen. I'll clean it twice a day if you want me to, as long as I don't have to cook. The next one is Liberty Starburst by Summer House Stitchworks. Is this a limited edition kit? Somebody, a couple people went and found it. Uh, I don't know if it's a kit or if it's a pattern that you can get now. Um, but it came with Confederate gray fabric and the cut. Look at this. Somebody was not cutting very straight a grain when they cut this, but I started it and I finished it. And this has a little wool piece that comes with it. And that wool piece, you just stitched on with like a blanket stitch or uh, she said a blanket stitch or a, like a, a herringbone or a zigzag back stitch. And that's kind of what I did. I just made it up. I just stitched it on there. Can you tell? No, you can't tell. So this is going to be a, a pin cushion. I love that. Isn't that, isn't that so attractive? Isn't that design, that ge geometry of that just makes me want to go, oh, love it. So there's that one. I just finished that one I finished today. Some of these I'm going to have to pull out of my the little bags that they're in. Okay, last night's start was Henpeck by Plum Street. And I had to do a little finagling with some of my fabric. So I had a fat quarter of sand. And I used that on two projects, two fairly decent sized projects, but I wanted to use it also for this one. And I think I might have another one of these trios that I want to stitch also. I can't remember. I didn't buy all of them. I just maybe bought a couple. So here is where I am with Henpeck. And isn't that just the sweetest? I mean... And I should be able to get one here. It's folded in half. I should be able to get a second one. But that's where I am with this. And those chickens, I mean, come on. How adorable are they? I love them. That was yesterday's start. I had um, one of my kits had a needle stuck in it. And it was when I bought off a stash and load. I'll show you what it is. But the needle, when I pulled it out, was rusty. Now, it was stuck in the side of the project, which is great, so then it's not a big deal. But just remember to take your needles out, because if you don't get back to it anytime soon, it can rust. All right. If I'm overwhelmed with stuff that starts falling this way, I'm going to have to stop the video. I have to call someone for help. The next is another Plum Street. She just has the best patriotic. I absolutely love her patriotic stuff. This is Bless Our Land. How 
how sweet is that? I, and her eagles are great. I don't know. And as are Beth Twist's eagles. They're great also. What's our land? And here is where I am. That blue is amazing. That blue is Rainwater by, I think it's Classic Color Works. Great. Such, this is a lot of fun to stitch. And again, I didn't want to put it down, which of course... If you watch the mania videos, that's what everybody says, right? I didn't want to put it down. I didn't want to keep going. And so, oh, I want to keep going. The next is another plum street. I know, shocker, right? Plus, you all, if you watch my mania video, this is all stuff you've seen already. Cereal bowl collection uh, lesson two. And her, her berry basket as well. I love a berry basket. And I really just did some words. That's it. I only did words on that one. Was, I think it was a short day. So sometimes my work, you know, I, um, especially with all the Zoom meetups, holy cow. So I'll work and I try and get out for a walk if I can during um, at the beginning of the day. And then I, I work and then a lot of times the Zoom meetings are at five or six. And so I'm still working, but I'll, I'll get done as soon as I can. And then um, I'll go to the Zoom meetup and I'll finish and I'll go eat dinner. And then sometimes I work some more. So sometimes these don't get started until like 10 o'clock at night, which is not good. But it's all right. Glad to be working. Blackbird Design, some comfort stitching, as Brenda from Brenda the Serial Starter would say, comfort stitching is in her wheelhouse. This is um, with thy needle, I think. With my needle, Blackbird. This is out of print. I'm truly sorry, but um, it is what it is. So I am stitching this on 32 count buttercream by Lakeside. And the palette is so beautifully soft. It's just really, uh, it's so pretty. Uh, there's stuff, that's the word I would think. When I think of Blackbird, I just think of prettiness. Yeah. Wouldn't it be great if there was just a store that was a Blackbird design store? And you can buy all the fabric there that you want. You can make all the quilts. You can buy all the out of print patterns. I would for sure work there. I would quit my job. We might live out of the car, but I would love to work in that shop. <laughs> so another fantastic patriotic designer is um, Brenda Gervais. Brenda has several that I really want to stitch um, and there are remaining still in my mania to be started. But this is, thank you very much, Jen Stitchy Niche. This is um, Brenda Gervais Summer at Cherry Hill. Jen stitched this and I think she showed it in one of her most recent videos, but that is gorgeous. And this is stitched on 40 count fresco. Is this the fresco? No, this is the sand. This is 40 count sand from picture this plus and that is cayenne uh weeks cayenne isn't that a beautiful color it's sort of a it's not a blue red it's more of a green red no it's more of an orangey red super pretty and here's the colors the colors are um sort of earthy is what i would say there's a lot of the the browns and brown greens and just one red but the red's not glaring it has a you know sort of a soft pinky brown i think i chose this might be a substitute no that's wood rose i think it calls for wood rose jakey brown is also is a similar to wood rose color so there's that one that one i could have started stitching and kept stitching until it was done for sure fun. I hope you guys are having a great mania, no matter how you decide to stitch it. 
So this one is a, is sort of a surprise one that I had found in my stash. I'd never seen it until I bought it on, I think, stash and load. And it is Pretty as a Peacock by Little House Needleworks. I'm not sure if that's available or where it's available from. I think some people have found it, though. I did not get much done on this one. Looks like a NASCAR race is about to start is about it. But yeah, this is 32 count um, lamb's wool. So this is the stuff that stands up by itself. And on my video, I said, maybe I'll wash it. And somebody said, gosh, I can't remember who made the comment, but they said, I had a piece that I, I washed and I dried and I ran it through, you know, I think she tried to like, you know, wad it into a ball and get that thing to soften up and it just never did. So it could be that this is a type of linen that doesn't really ever lose its structure. For smalls, it's fine. I'm not having to roll it up too much on some of the ones that I've chosen lambswell for, I have, but it hasn't been difficult. I think if you have a big project and you don't have like a a roller frame, a roller frame or a, you know, stitching frame, or maybe a large Q-snap, it might be hard to stitch that piece in hand. I don't know. Just a thought. And this one was fun. This was an early mania start. This is Blackbird Designs Justice for All. I just love that one. And this one, I'm as I'm stitching it, I'm thinking about how I'm going to finish it, and I'm not sure, but it might be a quilted wall hanging. This is on pecan butter, I believe. It's so light, and but very crisp. Very, uh, there's a lot of contrast, right? But it's just not, it's not heavy. The dark thread doesn't look heavy at all. And that's fun. Um, I think that was my second start, maybe. And I worked on it the third day, and um, I haven't really worked on it since then. But that one I enjoyed a lot. All right, I'm going to move stuff over here. I'm, I'm to the point now where I have some open spots on my table. This one. Oh, Lord, I'll just take it out of the... American sampler and my friend Michelle Rudy farm girl she's stitching on this and she is making hay that girl is going to be done with this in no time but I understand what she says she said it stitches pretty quickly I have found the same this is on th this is on 40 count navy bean it's not vintage it's just regular navy bean again I start at the lower left usually because I find that when I stitch with my lap stand and I have an 11 by 8 or 9 Q-snap, whatever I put together that's rectangular, that fits on there. I like to stitch at the bottom, which is closer to, toward me, and I stitch left to right. I think I like stitching left to right like you write on in a book or in, uh, on a piece of paper or how you read. And so that's where I tend to start now. I didn't always start that way. I usually start in the middle um, and I've really changed that as I started stitching a lot more samplers. So isn't that, that's a great thread. I can't remember what that is, but it's great. It might be, this is what I need a uni uniform blue for. Um, it might be red current. I think it is red current. Yes. So the other big one that she has that's patriotic that has the big white house and the carriage. I think I might start that in July. I don't know though. We'll see. I think some of our shops are starting to really open up. So that make, gives me hope that I can go in and get some threads. The next one is Liberty by you and I and friends. So this one, and I'll show you where I am. This is a Dixie sampler flaw or thread. I want to say it's like denim or something like that. It's pretty. The, the blue black crow that I'm stitching in, she says to stitch it with one thread. It's a little more primitive and that's okay. This one has several specialty stitches. And had I thought that through, I probably wouldn't start it with mania um, because 
especially stitches aren't necessarily difficult. You just have to pay attention. And if you're starting this late at night, the last thing you need is to have to try and figure out how to work around specialty stitches. <laughs> but it's a cute pattern. Um, I think that's the one that I didn't plan very well. I probably would have planned a little differently on that one. All right. So this one. Oh, I love this one. But this is a fiddly, fiddly design. This is work basket and it is village. And it says, earth hath no sorrow that heaven canst not heal. And I love, this is such a, this is such a, I don't know, American. To me, it just looks like America, right? Just little town America. Um, and I love that about it. So I'm stitching this on Exemplar. I believe it's, I don't even think it's, yes, it is vintage Exemplar. I don't know if it's light or just regular Exemplar. And here is the tree and part of the next house that I stitched. And that tree, if you're not paying attention, I had to pull stitches out several times on that tree because I was trying to watch TV at the same time. It didn't work that well. So, um, yeah, this is just lovely. I really enjoy this. And my friend Olivia B, she's a work basket fan also. She, she made a comment she liked it. Proud and true. I'm not going to take this one out because it's those containers that everybody likes. Blue Ribbon Designs. I want to say someone else has started this. Maybe Pam from Pam and Steph. Did I see that on Instagram? I have this and I started it on. This is all DMC. I started this on Bittersweet. Vintage Bittersweet. Um, it it's stitched in silk, I think, on the front. And the lettering I have is darker than I wanted it to be, so I'm going to substitute that. I wanted it to be a little bit of a brighter color, and I might just use the same color that's in the flag. So, but it's worth stitching once, right? Stitch a few letters and see if you like it. And if you don't, you can take it out. And you're not committed to stitching the whole thing. All right, and I just have two more. And then my big one that I started. And haul. This one, this one was uh, going to be a mystery of how it looked because here's the pattern. Now, I think I led people astray, and I think y'all thought that I was picking my own colors, and that's not true. There are colors on here to pick, the colors that are um, DMC, right? You could pick anything, quite frankly. And then on the back here is also the, the pattern. But you don't know what it's going to look like unless you pull the, the threads. But this thing is adorbs, adorable. Let me put something behind it. Isn't that so cute? And I all finished this this afternoon. It says, Uni what's missing is it says United We Stand, and it has these little shields. There's a, a row of like four of those up there, and that's all that's left. But isn't that, I mean, Uncle Sam and Betsy Ross are together. They're hanging out. I love it. And I love, I love, um, who was talking about? The Dine to Stitch retreat piece that that Paulette designed, um, and the Dine to Stitch retreat isn't happening, but that pattern is going out to the people who were signed up. And man, talk about regret! I wish I had been signed up for that that retreat because that pattern is gorgeous. I'm sure we'll be open in about a year to get it. And I think Betsy Ross is on there. I think it's about first women stitchers. Anyway. Um, so there's that one. And then the Mother's Day start that I had was Salt Box Quilt Sampler. And Shanda from Stitching in Idaho reached out to Carol Saltbox Stitcher and I and wanted to know if we wanted to sell this. And so we both are stitching along. And this is just, I mean, come on. Brenda Gervais is amazing. Amazing. This is 40 Count Espresso, which is one of my favorite R and R fabrics. Mm. Yes, it's such a soft fabric, and the threads on this are um, yes, gorgeous. Isn't that just pretty? It's so pretty.
And I like her finish, but honestly, why would I want to put this on the inside of a box? I'd have to have that box open all the time. And I need those little tomatoes. Holy cow. I do have the souvenirs of the heart also in my, the rest of my mania starts. So, Ugh. Oh, oh, I need to stitch all the things. My last fix, my last start is not a mania start, but it was going to happen. So I have not started a new Barabilia in quite a while. I have several that need to be stitched and one is in my stitch 10 and 20. But this one, when I saw this, at first I thought, oh, that's busy. And the more I looked at it, the more I just absolutely love this. I love, love, love it. And so I went shopping in my, my stash and found fabric that I liked. And I was on a Zoom call with the Kitsap Stitchers. And as I started to pull it out, I was going to start it. I realized that the pattern calls for the new DMC, 1 through 35, all of them, of which I had none of them. And I did not know that at, um, that, that was intended, but I was, um, that's what I learned on the call. I'm like, oh yeah, that's, she was trying to promote the DMCs. So I, I was able to buy the DMCs from Brandy at the Stitch Me, which thank you so much, Brandy. I truly appreciate it. Um, and this is how, this is where I started. This is on Chan Enchanting Aurora by Caf Crafty Kitten, and she's in the UK. Oh, let me put something behind this. So this is maybe a little, yeah, there we go. Isn't that a great color? And this fabric, I love it. It's got purple. It's got this turquoisey blue. It's not as dark. It's a little bit light like that. The, the lighting is a little bit off, but I love it. And I can't wait to get farther along in it to see how the colors develop together. So... Yes, I stitched with my Mirabilia sisters yesterday. That was fun. I hadn't seen them for a few years. So um, it's great to see everyone, Tiffany and Jamie and Amy. And oh, who else was on there? I'm going to miss Vivian and... Oh, why? I can see your face. I can't think of your name. Vivian's daughter. I don't know if they watch me anyway. All right, so let's talk about some haul. I had a moment of panic where I did not know we are going to have gentle arts threads again. So I was, went on to eBay. Plus I was looking for uniform blue and I couldn't find it, but I bought, I bought, um, eight or 10 of them and they're the 10 yard skeins. So I just thought that was fantastic to find the 10 yard skeins because that saved me, you know, it's really not that much more. It's not double. I'll say that it's a good deal. Um, so I got several of those. And then I also picked up a couple five yard skeins. Those are 10. This is five. I hope I said that right. I picked up a couple of silken colors, a silken color and a Gloriana from Kitten Stitcher. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but she does such a great job of showing her silks on her website that I usually just buy that one. Ooh, I like that one. I just add to my stash that way so that it's not as painful when I'll buy something down the road. Um, I picked up this from Five Times Blessed. This is a scissor fob that's a strawberry and the, the trim is a measuring tape. It's so stinking adorable. I can hardly stand it. Is that not cute? I love that. Five times blessed on Etsy. All right, I've got some patterns. I've got patterns and I've got fabric. What do you want to see first? Oh, and I've got another thing too. I'm going to show you this other thing first. I bought this and I put this on Instagram stories. This is from Just Just For You Etsy. I will link her below, her or him. And this is a seam ripper made with the handle of either a fork or a knife and they had a you know they're all one of a kind um in there but isn't this gorgeous do you not want all of your sewing accoutrement to look that pretty i do what i love about this is that it has a nice weight in your hand 
sometimes seam rippers are those really cheap, flimsy plastic ones that are, you know, this just really, you know where your, where your um, instrument is in your hand. And um, so I really like it. Hopefully I never have to use it. But if I do, there you go. I had to replenish a few of my fabrics. I was low on 32 count um, neutrals, really low. So I went on to Kitten Stitcher and because I like to give her all my money, which is very reasonable. The 32 count, I picked one for one of the projects. I picked it up. I don't remember which one it is. But here are, um, here's what I picked up. This is Plum Street Blend. And it is sort of a, a greenish, grayish, beigey color. It's really pretty. I like this a lot. And I have something in mind for that. This is 32 count Linganeer Latte. It's light. I would say it's like DMC 8, 844. Is that right? Sort of a topish grayish color. Then I have 32 count Creek Bed Brown. This is awesome. This one is definitely, it seems like this one has more of an over cast. It's more like a Confederate gray where it almost has a, a gray layer that sits on top of it. It's pretty. And I think these are all R and R linens. Then I picked up 40 count creme brulee. Yeah. I guess this one has two tags on it. This is like um, 822. This is the light and the cream color. Um, 40 count parchment weeks. And this one is a more of a golden neutral. Pretty good representation there. And then a 40 count 18th century rook, which is a dark, kind of a oak, a darker color, darker brown. So that was my stash enhancement. I do love lakeside linens, but I also love R and R linens a lot. And I don't necessarily talk about them as much, but um, the quality of their fabric is excellent. The dyeing is excellent. Um, they're not color fast, which a lot of the hand dyed threads and fabric aren't color fast, but they make quality work. And so I recommend R&R. &R. And I might've picked up a few charts. I know, shocker, right? So I, I picked this one up from Traditional Stitches. This is a sampler for my mother, RETM. Okay, RETM. And this, I love Quakers. Quakers, I could stitch them all the time. So there's that one. I think I tried to get uniform blue from her also, and she was out, but I bought a, I bought a pattern anyway. And I can't remember if I showed you this before. This I picked up from Kitten Stitcher, and this one is a sooner rather than later start. This is a Scarlet Letter and Wallace. Look at that. Look at the colors in that. Is that not fantastic? And I would stitch that on, I think I would stitch that on 40 count, um, Lakeside Vintage, navy bean which is their gray that would be similar to this i love that love it love it this is kind of a fun one stitch with sudbury shaker sampler this is by donna vermilion who's no longer with us it's a sweet stitch and then um i picked up i like finding obscure patterns that Maybe you're from the 80s or 90s. This one is 2008. This is copyright Arena Garena of the Lady and Thread. And it's called Spring in a Colonial Garden. Look at her with her parasol. But those flowers, are those flowers not awesome? I love that one. Then I had picked up the Gentle Art, which who knew the Gentle Art had patterns? Or is it the same as the threads? I don't really know. Does anybody know? This is by the Gentle Art. It's called a Cottage Garden. 
And it's kind of fun that the, that the border is a little bit of a spared border. You know, it's not as full. I really like that. Then somebody on Stash Unload was unloading Praiseworthy Stitches, older patterns. And so, me please, I hit that a few times. They were very reasonably priced. So, I was able to pick up multiples. This one is Praiseworthy Stitches Arbor House. How does your garden grow with silver bells, cockle shells, and uh, pretty maids in a row? Must be a reference to Mary Mary, quite contrary. Yep. This one is Praiseworthy Stitches Amazing Grace. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that brought me safe thus far, and grace shall lead me home. That's a fantastic border, too. And it's hard to see on here, but the hill up here, it has a house, but it has on the top of the hill, there's about six or seven sheep, little sheep. They're so cute. And there is a peacock at the bottom and a deer and a couple of fun flowers. Sometimes the pictures, you just can't see everything. Praise where these stitches wild with samplers. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful. The Lord God made them all. It's a great fall stitch, isn't it? Yep. Praiseworthy stitches, Sarah's crows. The path he chose, I followed every day. Hoped peace did stay, did stay, and joy with him ever after. Boy, this is a tiny little picture, so it's hard to read that. Sarah's Crows. This one's wonky. I like this one. Grace Manor. As beauty adorns the countenance, may grace adorn our hearts. And this is where the S's are F's, and so it's hard to read that. That's a fun one. Grace Manor. I've never seen these, so... And then, I don't remember who, and this was a somebody on Floss to maybe buy this. And why did have been Kansas City Girl in Colorado World? Julia could have been you. I can't remember, though. Nantucket Girl Sampler. Oh, this is double wrapped, so let me pull the first one out at least. Plum Street. Um, then I'll haste to wed a sailor and send him off to sea for a life of independence is the pleasant life for me. But every now and then I shall like to see his face for it always seems to me to beam with manly grace with his brow so nobly open and his dark and kindly eye. Oh, my heart beats fondly towards him whenever he is nigh. But when he says goodbye, my love, I'm off across the sea. First, I'll cry for his departure, then laugh because I'm free. I mean, come on. <laughs> Take it with tongue in cheek, a grain of salt. I really like that. Look at that little windmill on there. I didn't notice that before. And that whale at the bottom. Talent, pure talent, that, that poet. Uh, this is Examples from the Harp, the Grape Season Arbor. Linda Jo, this makes me think about you and Joe. Take it out first. Sorry. Yep. The colors are great in that, aren't they? I've never seen that one either. Obscure little. It's fun. I'm going to end up with a wall full of old samplers and my husband, he's going to be stuck with me. Too bad. So sad. Tiny Modernist sewing, vintage sewing set. Look at that. This sort of reminds me of Veronica, Veronica and Ginger. I don't know. Veronique and Ginger. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm just making it up probably. That is adorable. I love that. I think I got that from 123 Stitch. And then, of course, the Blackbirds. I had two sets of these at one point, and I was going to keep one for myself, and I sold one on Stash and Load. 
and I sold it, you know, I think I paid, I think I sold it for 15 bucks a piece. It wasn't trying to, you know, ring people out of their money, but there was a gal who asked if I had another set and I did, but I wanted to keep it, but she was from New Zealand and she's just really nice. So I sold it to her. So I didn't have one. And I was really glad when these came out. I have plans. I have plans for those. Oh, I forgot another st stitchy kind of. My sweet benefactress, who she knows who she is. I'm not going to say her name. Every once in a while, I get this piece of mail and it's got a gem in it. It has, I, I just, I don't deserve it. I thank you very much for your kindness. Um, I saw this kit. I think Sarah Stitching Mommy is stitching this. And I, when I saw it, I thought, ooh, that's something I would stitch. It is called Needles and Hoops Sampler. Oh, that's the brand. To Everything a Season Sampler. Very much like right from the 80s or 90s. And it comes with all this thread. And if the thread's not too bad, I might just stitch it on that, that, uh, with that thread. We'll see. But I'm for sure going to stitch this. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. The last thing that I have for today, which is probably enough, right? is um i can't remember where i got this i want to say it was a shop in michigan maybe there was a reprint of just nan silkwood anyway and i think that i've also seen common grounds so she has three house samplers there's winter haven silkwood and I can't remember what the other one is. I have them. This was the one I didn't have, and I saw that it was reprinted and available. So it's a kit, and it includes this little um, needle tin, and it includes the beads and a special button that goes with it. It's not inexpensive, but this is gorgeous. Look at that border. It's just beautiful, and just Nan work. Heather McLean on Instagram is always stitching her stuff. And I am always inspired when I see that she's stitching it. So I had to buy it. I had to complete the series, right? And that's how they get us. Create a series and make people want to buy it. Today, I think I might go out into my yard and see if I can dig up one of my flower beds and plant my dahlias for the year. Better start my mania start. I think I'm going to start Merrily Beams Prize Your Liberty today. Because I love that one. I hope you all have a great um, Sunday. And I hope everything is going well with you. Um, I hope you have peace. And I will see you probably in another couple of weeks. Take care, y'all. I'll see you later.